mine. What's going on guys, welcome back to another episode of Iron Vault Outdoors. If you guys can't tell, the weather has changed. It's not hot as ball sack outside and we're not trying to fucking melt while we're filming these videos. So hopefully we're gonna get a lot more content out to you guys. Today, uh, so a quick word from our sponsor who is nobody because we suck and everybody hates us. Anyway, we're gonna go through today the quick uh, anatomy and uh, basic functions of your AR pattern, AR-15 rifle, whatever you want to call it. It's all kind of the same. Um, <laughs> New York sucks. Well, yeah. Um, so this is, uh, you know, maybe a little more tricked out and whatever than a normal AR-15, but the good thing with them is the function on all of them is pretty much exactly the same. So we'll, uh, like our flannel father does, we'll start Tip to butt. Tip to butt. Tip to butt. Um, so, that's really carbon down there. <laughs> I clean this all the time. I swear. I swear. Technical difficulties. BRB. <laughs> so, after those technical difficulties, we're just going to leave this on because it's um, basically carbon locked, right? No. 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 I'm being interrupted. Yeah. No. If you listen closely to this, it's what I hear every time I play Call of Duty. Just heavy breathing and chewing in my ear, so I can't hear anything going on. Um, you want me to just restart this? Surefire can, PEC-15, Surefire Scout Light, dual pad, BCM vert grip, some tape to try and keep my hand from melting off, but that doesn't really work. Uh, Vortex Viper, one of six. This thing's pretty sweet. Uh, it's a Colt. Upper lower. B5 system stock and a Blue Force gear stock with some more tape. So again, I don't shred my hands, but it kind of happens anyway. And it looks cool. It does look cool. Um, that actually adds... Um, five horsepower? Yeah. 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 If you had the camo, it'd be 15. Yeah. So anyway... Uh, the normal functions of your AR are basically going to be your upper lower, barrel, gas tube, buffer, uh, buffer tube, spring, and buffer. Um, there's all, you know, your normal controls on it, your safety selector, your trigger, the bolt, bolt release, magazine release and then all the buttons to actuate all this fun stuff up here, but not everyone's got that, so we'll just ignore it. That's really it. I mean, again, the same uh, normal fundamentals of marksmanship apply. You know, sights, trigger, if you do everything right, it's gonna go where you want it to. Just cause this is like, you know, bigger than a hangout, whatever, doesn't mean anything's really different other than your, uh, you know, order operations, loading and whatever. So uh, with that, we'll uh, get our eyes and ears on and uh, just do some live fire demonstration of uh, how all this stuff works. Yes. Bang, bang. That was quick. So uh, we're out here on the flat range now. I got all my heavy hut hut stuff on. A lot of shooting is marksmanship and that's fine. But the second half to it is your ability to actually move around and do stuff in all this heavy crap that you're gonna wear if that's what you're doing. Um, so now we're gonna do a little bit of a box drill. Uh, this steel kind of moves around, it's hard to shoot fast because it kind of just spins and goes all over the place. So we're gonna do some low round count stuff and just do a box drill. So I'm gonna run, it's like 20 yards to the first position, diagonal to a second shooting position with the reload, reload across to the third shooting position and uh, that's gonna be the end of the drill. We have this timer here. Hopefully it stays on and records stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Where's my, right? It's right there. Good shit. 
All right, so uh, we're here in the, uh, the aftermath of that drill. Um, went pretty well. I mean, again, it's a man-sized target at like 15, 20 yards. So again, you really shouldn't be missing at all. Um, and we didn't, so yay for accuracy. Um, but a lot, of, uh, a lot of what you want to be doing here that's good is just, uh, you know, moving around in your kit, seeing how everything feels while you're moving around. I mean, listen, this stuff isn't the heaviest in the world, and this is a flat range where we're not going that far. I'm not rucking this through the mountains. I'm not wearing this helmet for eight hours at a time. It's really just here on the range for now. So, you know, you work with what you got. Uh, but that drill is pretty good. I mean, you get your heart rate up a little bit. This next drill we're going to do, we're going to probably get the heart rate up a lot. I'm not going to use my fancy Apple Watch to get the distance, but I would assume up and around over here is probably going to be maybe a tenth of a mile. Uh, so we're going to probably get the heart rate up a little bit that way and see if, uh, how, how moving around, how getting your heart rate up affects your accuracy. Again, it's a man-sized target. It probably won't, but it'll look good on video and I'll be out of breath and that's fun for everybody. So uh, we'll get going on that. Pouring over your kid's baby seat, that would be bad. <laughs> Alexa, play Fortunate Son. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Yeah. You good? All right, to give it just three, two, one, mate. We got Sasquatch in the background. All right, guys. So that was a uh, couple drills, shooting, moving like we do on like a, you know normal range day. Um, it was a little bit more of a run than we anticipated. The camera almost died. The cameraman also almost died. Uh, but hopefully it'll look good. Uh, I also didn't miss, so that was that was good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like, you can uh, subscribe, smash the like button, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell her mom. Grandmas can watch gun videos too. Second Amendment's for everybody. That's it. That's the video. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with mountain biking, uh, can, you, wait, can you also make sure I'm in, like if I step out here, am I still in the, I'm good? All right, cool.